Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here with a, a chilly Greg Hansen. We've got the long sleeves on today in the newsroom. Is the heater working? Uh, it's one of those. It's, it's winter in Tucson for at least the next couple yeah. of days. Uh, somebody who is heating up. How's that for That's a segue? A Arizona Wildcats basketball team coming off a, a Bay Area sweep. Uh, rallied to beat Stanford Saturday in Palo Alto. They come home to face Colorado and Utah. What do you anticipate this weekend? Arizona wins twice. Twice? Probably by, what do you think, 9 and 12 points? Yeah, I would say if we're going by recent history, they'll win 58-50 in a game that sets offensive basketball back five years. In the next game, they'll win 89-72, yeah. and they'll look pretty good, right? That's about how I expect it to go. <laughs> you know, Tad Boyle, the coach of Colorado, made some headlines the last couple of weeks saying that, quote-unquote, hell yes, He's excited to beat teams like Arizona and USC, uh, teams that have been investigated and are being investigated by the FBI. You wrote, Greg, in uh, Wednesday's Star that, that this is good for the league, that there needs to be sort of a, a rivalry that's not wa you know, watered down and, and politically correct. Uh, you still stand by that? Name a villain in the league. Bobby Hurley? Well, he's a villain across the country. Right, okay. That's but a good point. Name another one. There aren't many. It used to be every year. Yeah. Guys coming in, you would you would get off your chair and boo at them. Right, right. Don McLean, Ed O'Bannon, uh, J.R. Henderson. J.R. Henderson, Mike Montgomery, when he yeah. would come here with Stanford. Yeah. Ernie Kent, although he doesn't have the juice anymore. Right. But you're right, you're right. I, Tad Boyle's an interesting guy. I mean, he's somebody who, I mean, the, he and his Colorado players speak their minds kind of for better and worse, don't they? Yeah, Xavier Johnson kind of got off track when he said, what, there's, he didn't consider Arizona a rival, right? Something like that, right? And then they had that overtime game here that shouldn't have been an overtime game here. Sabatino Chen hit that shot, and yeah. then they've rushed the court in Boulder against mm -hmm. Arizona. They got Sean Miller and a tizzy. So mm -hmm. there have been events against Colorado, which is better than there's been almost no events against other teams. And it's so funny when Colorado came into the league. If you were like me, Greg, you thought, okay, Colorado is here for the football, Utah is here for the basketball, and really it's kind of been flipped. I mean, Utah is consistently better in football, and Colorado has been really tough out in hoops. So is Utah, though. Yeah. They had a couple good years. Uh -huh. um, I, I like Utah's long-range future in basketball better than Colorado. Right. They've got a history, a really good basketball history, mm -hmm. and Larry Kristoyak, I think, is a better recruiter than Tad Boyle. Yeah. Um, maybe Boyle's a good X and O guy. Tad Boyle seems to do really well with the cards that he's dealt, sort of. He, mm -hmm. he seems to be a very good on-court coach. But you're right, you don't see those five-star guys coming into Boulder to play. They had Dom Dominique Collier right. from Denver. He was almost a five-star, could have been a right. five-star, and he didn't work out. Right. He comes off the bench for him now. Right. It, what are you looking to see out of Arizona this week? Wow. They're going to be playing two shutdown zone defenses. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be painful to watch it, don't right. you think? Yes. That's going to be progress measured or not measured. How are they going to move the ball? Is it going to be fluid against these zone defenses? Because Utah and Colorado don't want to play. Right. Probably won't be the prettiest week at McHale Center, but certainly important. If Arizona wants to stake out a, a claim for number one overall or number one seed in a regional uh, coming up here, my goodness, sooner than we'd like to, to think. If Arizona loses one of these games, that would be the biggest story. That would be a huge story. It would be a huge story. I don't think they will, though. No. No. That'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook. For Greg Hansen, I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time.